Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into an application made by a well-known YouTuber, productivity expert. He has written a book on the subject. We are taking a look at Ali Abdal's new voice notes, or it isn't a voice notes application, it is a voice ghostwriter application. So it has a very specific use case, but I have been playing a little bit around with it. We are going to take a look on take a look at it how it works and if it is any good and we are going to test it out on the ipad it is really similar on the uh, mobile uh, the only like major difference is that it is a lot bigger the application is a lot bigger on this screen compared to the mobile uh, screen so uh, let's just jump right into the application so the application has a really easy user face um, which I do love for an application like this pricing wise, this will set you back. I think the pricing uh, will depend a little bit on where you live, but in my case, it is 129 Norwegian kroners, which is, which is around $12. And I would say that $12 is at least a little expensive. I am paying $12.99 for uh, my mind which I think is a little expensive and expensive doesn't mean that I won't buy it or it's not worth it it just means that it will cost you uh, some money it is an investment and the question for an application like this is if you can just use a cheaper voice notes application to do the same as this app can do and basically what you do these are called streams so the things you see on the screen are streams and on the free plan you get five streams um, if you upgrade you get unlimited and you can choose to either record or type a new thought and whenever I type a new thought it turns into a stream so let's say I wanted to do something on note-taking uh, and note-taking applications so let's try this it doesn't actually start and the app doesn't work let's try one more time so we'll record and let's tap one more time still doesn't work so I closed the application and then I started it again and now it works so this app is called voice pal and I'm guessing that there are still some bugs and one thing to keep in mind when you are testing out new software is that there will be bugs that's like one of the things you just have to expect when you are trying out newer software but as they go forward they keep on getting better and better now let's press the button and finish this and it will upload it and it will make a title for you so troubleshooting voice pal this actually does a great job at titling uh, you can also listen to it as well uh, and it does a good job when it comes to transcribing as well and i can add thoughts here or I can jump into press like the ghost button on the side and it will uh, open up the shadow reader and here I can actually add new things. So what specific bugs did you encounter uh, using VoicePal? Uh, I can either uh, talk it out or I can press the AA button and it will allow me to write it. So if I press the microphone here, the specific bug was that the voice notes did not work and I had to close out the application and restart it uh, in order for it to work. So I wasn't able to actually use my voice to dictate uh, my thoughts. Let's press done. And if we go back, it will transcribe this. And this is a stream. And you can keep on adding to the streams. And whenever I add a new note, I actually get more questions uh, and I can keep on just going forward. So it keeps on uh, adding questions, which I do really enjoy. I like that feature. It helps you like get past writer's block. If you do a lot of writing, I think that's a good thing to have someone or an AI in this case, ask you questions. 
So there are a bunch here. And as I said, uh, once you record a new note, more will come. But I want to show you another thing. So here I have three streams, but I can jump into something called drafts. And here I can uh, create myself um, drafts or presets for my drafts. So I have a couple here. I have one called test. I have one newsletter. Uh, and if I press a new one here, you can actually add a sample content. And that's what I did. If I go back, that's what I did with this newsletter right here. I actually uh, gave it a sample content and with the sample content, it actually uh, gave the AI an instruction as you can see right here. Um, so that is something I do like and I can actually go in here and I can change things up uh, if I wanted to. Uh, there are some additional settings here. So creativity level, you can describe your reader profile and you can actually also change the word count. And that's something you can do for all of your presets. I can do it for my test one here. So here I haven't uploaded any, uh, I haven't uploaded um, any in any of my content. So here I would manually have to write the instructions uh, so that is also something I do like. One thing I would like is that whenever I'm inside of this your presets uh, here, uh, when I press the plus, I would like the ability to delete this as well. But I have to actually go into it to delete it, which is okay. That's just a minor like change I would like to see. Uh, there are a couple more uh, changes I would like to see in the UI, but that's something for later. What I can do now is I can jump in here and I can press on the right corner where the Twitter icon is. I can press this and I can actually turn this into a newsletter. I won't do that right now because it won't do a good job because I do not have enough content. And one thing to keep in mind with applications like this is for all, in order for the AI to do actually do a great job, you have to spend uh, a little bit of time to get enough information inside of it. So these two simple notes here does not work like this. I haven't actually done anything there, but this doesn't work either. So you actually have to spend a little bit of time actually putting things into it, but you can use this uh, to make drafts. That's the whole point of the application. One, a couple things about the UI. So I have no problems with this streams right here. What I do have a problem with is that I have made a preset here, but as you can see, it says, bring your content to life, create your first preset. I would actually like it to show me my presets when I press the all instead of just uh, allow me to create a new one. Um, so that's like the first thing a feature I would like to see because right now I can jump into one of these and I can turn this into or reformat it into a newsletter or one of my other presets. But I would like the application to use like all of my streams and not just one because I'm guessing if you use this on a regular basis, you will actually have a lot of content inside of it, which means that uh, it can draw from so much more than just one stream. On the other hand, it uh, makes it a lot easier for like writing specific things to just use uh, one stream. So it is hard to say what's best. Uh, I personally would like the AI to uh, use everything, but I can completely understand why someone would rather just have these streams. So that's how it looks on the iPad right here. I will leave a few screenshots here so you can see how it looks on the mobile app. It is really, really similar, but I'm guessing that the mobile app is a little bit better uh, than the uh, iPad application. This is an app I would mostly use on the go on my mobile. I really like the idea behind this application and you could do this in any voice AI application. Uh, you could do this in something like voice notes AI, for example, but 
this is much more specific and I love uh, the fact that they create like these niche applications uh, with like compare it to something like voice notes you can do the same but it has a little more friction to do it in an application like voice notes compared to this so I like these niche applications that seem like they're doing the same as many others but actually they are doing or adding something else on top of it I do love that it is the same for something like mine Sarah so in general I think the application is really good I would say that it is a little bit on the pricier side but if you are a writer if you are someone that is really dependent on writing like I am that in my day job I have to write every single day there is nothing called a writer's block I can't have a writer's block things needs needs to be published every single day in those use cases an application like this is actually really really good so I think that there is a use case for this application but I do not think that it is for everyone. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's YouTube video.